Hey everyone, welcome to another Mass Transit video. I wanted to talk about a new feature coming out in 807 that's been asked for for a while, and that's the ability to change the names of the error and skipped queues. And I took it to the next level, and I'm gonna knock you through this right quick. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is this simple little sample. All it does is it's got an error that happens in a consumer using RabbitMQ. And so when I run that app, you can see the error happens. It writes a move to the error queue, and the default topology, the way it's set up, is you get this underscore error queue. And if we go in and look in there, we can see that the message, you know, has that value. I don't know why it's showing me that. That's kind of annoying. Get rid of that. Okay, great. So we got this submit order error. We've got a message in there. It's underscore error. Some people don't like that. Like if you're using the kebab case formatter and you want it to be like dash error instead, you know, that's something that we could do. But the way mass transit has typically worked is it always used that underscore error and underscore skipped. And that's a convention that's been in place. It makes it easier to support. But times move on and people like flexibility. So we're going to do that. So starting with 807, once it comes out, and this code is in the develop packages now, you can specify an error queue name formatter within the send topology. And so I've built a custom one here that changes that value to the dash error instead of the underscore error. So by putting that in place in the program, if I break this out and run it again, which again, these commute apps completely wipe the broker every time you run them. So if I come out here and look, you'll see the queues that I have. I now have a submit order dash error queue. So easy enough, I can do anything I want inside that formatter. I can, I, I have total control of the string. So let's, let's see what else we could do. Let's just say we want everything to go to a queue named error. And so all of our errors get written to one queue. We just have one queue called error and everything that's bad gets moved there. So if I bring that out, run it this time, I have total control of that. I can go out and look at the, uh, Exchange and boom, there's my error queue. There's my one error message. And there's the details, the error, the same stuff. It's just now it's written to the error queue instead of the underscore error. So some people like that. Some people like to write all their errors to one queue. I don't think that's the way I would do it. And that's why MT creates an underscore error queue after everything. But now you have that same control and you can do whatever you want. You can also do it with the skipped queue. You could say um, unknown, you could call it whatever you want for the skipped queue, it's the dead letter queue formatter. It's the same kind of code in here, it's just instead of dead error, we use dead letter. I now have my custom formatter. I don't have a skipped message, but let's, um, it completely clears the broker, it publishes, yeah. I can't really simulate a skipped super easy without you know creating a custom message type and all that funny stuff. So we'll just leave that at that, call it good. Um, but you can override the dead letter queue as well as the error queue. Anyway, new feature coming in 807, been asked for a bit, so now it's going to be there. And you have, you know, you have the ability to make it anything you want. The input queue name is passed to you, you can change it to whatever you want. You can do conditionals, you can say if queue name equals whatever, something, then, you know, do something like that. You have all the logic. It's called once at startup, it's not per message, so. You know, you just got to kind of make the decision and base it off the queue name and everything works. So hopefully this was useful. I think it's going to be a nice feature coming in 807. We'll catch you next time.